Your iPad comes with many built-in accessibility features. In this video, I'll show you how to enable accessibility features by setting up two spoken content features. Text-to-speech isn't just for students with low vision. It can also be beneficial to students experiencing a range of literacy difficulties. To enable spoken content features, we'll go to Settings, then Accessibility, Now tap on Spoken Content. We have two options for spoken content. Let's toggle both on so you can see how they work. And while we're here, I also like to tap here and turn on Highlight Content. Now let's return to the home screen. And let's open a website in Safari. The Speak Screen feature is used when you want to hear all content on a page. To have the entire screen read to you, slide two fingers down from the top of your screen. Education Community, Learning Center, Forum, Get Help, Search Apple Education Community, Sign In, Learning Center, News, Sign In, Back. Everyone can create overview, everyone can create, the everyone can create resources make it quick and easy. You also have access to pause, fast forward, rewind, and adjust the reading speed. Because Speak Screen reads all parts of a screen, Speak Selection might be a better option than Speak Screen for content like web pages that have text spanning multiple areas like headers, menus, advertisements, etc. To use Speak Selection, select the text you'd like to hear. Now tap Speak. The Everyone Can Create resources make it quick and easy for educators to bring creativity into any lesson and foster creative expression in every student. See how creativity and learning can empower your students. Only the text you have selected gets read to you. Now let's go back and look at a couple of important settings. We're going to open Settings again. And let's tap here to return to the Spoken Content main screen. From here, we can change the voice and adjust the speaking rate. I'm going to tap on Voices, then on English. I find the default voice, Samantha, difficult to understand, so I'm going to tap on Alex. Next, I'll tap on the cloud icon to download the voice for Alex. Alex is one of the clearest I've found, but you might want to test some out to see what suits your preferences. Once downloaded, you can listen to the voice by tapping here. Most people recognize me by my voice. With our voice changed to Alex, let's go back to the English screen and back to voices. And back one more time to spoken content. It's really easy to adjust the speaking rate. Just come down here and move this slider to the right to speed it up. Speed selection means selected content or slide it to the left to slow it down. Speak selection reads selected content. It may take a little experimenting to get the speaking rate that works best for you. Spoken content is just one of many accessibility features built into your iPad. You can learn more by visiting apple.com slash accessibility.